What's up, Facebook family? This is your boy, Stanley Wilson Media. For those that listen by way of YouTube, what's good? Listen, I want to ask you uh, um, a question. And that question should be, or should I say is, are you happy with your life? Are you happy where you're at? Well, are you happy with your job? Are you happy with what you do? Are you happy with the people that you hang around that are discouraging? Are you happy with the situation? And if the answer is no, then you're comfortable. We live in a day and time where if something doesn't work out once, we get afraid, we take breaks, and then we get mad at ourselves while things don't work out. This is the time, this is the season, this is the year. It's that time for breaks. It's that time to take breaks. It's the time to grind. God has predestined you to prosper. If you're not happy with your life, do something to change it. Yes, it may be challenging. Yes, you're going through something now. Yes, it, yes, you may fail again and again and again. But every time you fail, get up and take that broken piece that you failed with and build again. Don't get comfortable. Because if you get comfortable, it's like living in a house that need work and you know it need work and you don't get it done and things start breaking down little by little by little by little until you have nothing left start today don't be that house that starts out with a hole and end up caving in on itself because you didn't do nothing to correct it from the beginning because you were comfortable so many of people so many people are comfortable with their lives they tend to take the easy way out i was one of them but sometimes you gotta correct that so that you can go to your next level separate yourself from people that mean you no good Begin to hang around people that will build you up, that will lift you up, that will tell you you can make it, you will make it, you shall make it, you're going to make it. I don't care what you're going through now. Yes, it seems crazy what you're doing. What you're doing is crazy. It's not going to work. Da, da, da. Hang around people that says all that stuff to you because a part of success, a part of growing, there has to be people that's going to be around you that's going to try to tear you down. Don't be comfortable with your life if you're not happy with your life. If there's millionaires out there, you can become a millionaire. If people out there that are wealthy, you can be wealthy. I don't care what it is or what it takes. You do what you have to do to be successful. Everybody won't be the next Bill Gates or the next Donald Trump or the next Oprah or the next richest man in the world or woman in the world. Everybody won't make the next hundred thousand dollars. There's some people that are just comfortable. Get up and grind. Don't be like the average person that's comfortable with their life but you know complains about it. Complain about why they're not here, why they're not there, but make no effort to change it. Don't talk about your hair is nappy if you don't want to go get your hair cut. Don't talk about there's no food in the refrigerator when you don't want to go to the grocery store. You have to make an effort to change your life. So, I've come to a conclusion this year, 2017, and I challenge you today to change your life. 
get up from that comfortable place that you're in and say to yourself self in spite of what people think about me probably in spite of what people think about me say about me I'm gonna make it I'm gonna be successful yes people may think you're crazy people may think you're stuck or people may say or you work here, you work there, da da da, whatever the fact may be, and it ain't working out for you. All because it's not working out for you now, doesn't mean that if you fail the next time, and the next time you fail, you come up with a, a, a new solution, with the same thing that you were trying to accomplish all these years ago, doesn't mean it won't work the next time around. And when the next time comes around, then you be, then you'll be able to gain success and wealth. And then they're sitting there looking at you like, hmm, how did you do that? Hmm, how did you make it? You know how you, you, know, you know how you made it? You know how we made it? You know how I made it? Not listening to other people's opinions. Even family members. Sometimes your own family members can be your worst setbacks more than your friends. Today, remember one thing. Use your mind. Pray. Whatever you have in your mind to accomplish, you can do it. Regardless who says what, who thinks what. You can do it. You can make it. You will make it. I don't care if it's husband, wife, brother, sister. Focus on your dreams. Focus on your goals. And I guarantee you, they'll come to pass. Wipe out everything out of your mind and everyone and everything that's around you that is negative. Stop hanging around the ordinary people. Stop hanging around people that are just happy with their lives or just settle for what they have. Hang around people that are successful. Get a successful mind. Stop listening to people that don't have anything but tries to give you advice on how to gain something when you don't have anything yourself read books on success read books on how to start your own business don't you know the average american 80 percent of of the world population want to start their own business but don't know how to or tried to start their business, but failed. Because they didn't have a roadmap paid out for them. The average American, the average human is comfortable with their life, comfortable where they're at, but not happy. You will never be able to become a millionaire or successful or to even make an extra dollar. I don't care if it's two, three hundred dollars. If you're successful, if you're comfortable, excuse me, where you're at today. And when you start climbing success, remember one thing, people are gonna dislike you, even though you work for it yourself. I've made up in my mind this year, 2017, nothing will break my concentration from success, from going forward, from going higher, from climbing higher. Once again, there are people out there, they get comfortable with their lives, they get comfortable where they're at, they don't wanna move, they don't wanna do anything, they're comfortable where they're at. And they don't understand how money works or business works. Focus on your success. There are a lot of people today that, that don't understand me, and, and, that's, and, and that's perfectly fine. And there are people that's not gonna understand you because you're an entrepreneur. When you are an entrepreneur, when you're predestined for greatness, people are not gonna understand you, people are not gonna like you, that's life, oh well. Forget about what, whatever it is, what it is. Your focus should not be them. Your focus should be where you're going in life. Your focus should be your success. Your focus should be, listen, this year, I, I, you know, I might not have two, three hundred dollars in my pocket, but guess what? By the end of this year, I'm going to have two, three thousand in my pocket. It is possible 
to do. It is possible to make it. I'm telling you, I am a witness. And every money that you have come in, don't spend it. Invest it. Don't spend it. It takes money to make money. But before you make your money, it starts up here in your brain. It starts up here in your mind. Focus. 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 And I don't care what comes up against you. You have to focus. Every time you fail, every time you break into little pieces, take a piece from that broken piece and build again, 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 until you build your mansion, until you build your house, till you build your business. Don't stop. Don't be the ordinary individual. The ordinary individual won't ever become a millionaire. The ordinary individual will never become successful because you're ordinary. You have to be unordinary. You have to think outside the box. You have to put in that extra work that others are not willing to do. Today I challenge you, focus because you can make it. Focus because you want it. Focus and ignore negative thoughts. Ignore people that, that, that are not adding to your life. Ignore all of that. Who cares if they get mad? Friends, family, husband, wife, mother, father, who cares? Whoever they are, if they're not adding to your life, if they're not speaking success over your life, if they're not encouraging you, separate and focus on your dreams. Because at the end of the day, you are the only one that can say, I did this. And when you say, I did this, and you are, you know, you, you are visually complete what you've been wanting to do for all these years and become successful and succeed at it, then they'll say, oh, I knew all along you had it in you. No, you didn't. Focus. Every time someone comes up against you, focus harder. You lose a job, focus harder. Don't give up. Don't take no breaks. Focus. You lose a friend. Keep it moving. Focus. It seems like things are falling down and crumbling. Focus. Don't allow the things that are coming down deter you or discourage you. Because once you do that, you will fall. And it will be harder to get back up. Use that as strength and climb back up. Focus. I used to allow little things to bother me. Uh, when certain things used to happen and I used to get all upset and want to give up. Ah, no, 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 no. Not anymore. Take the negative and turn it into a positive. A positive. Because you're going to make it. I promise you, you will. You shall make it. You're going to make it. I don't care what nobody said. You're going to make it. This is yours truly, Stanley Wilson. God bless. Good night.